Hello there, it's Sandy, and I've got a page today that is not one that will make a lot of sense. I'll just warn you ahead of time. There are times when I do pages like this that I don't even share anywhere. I don't take pictures of them and post them anywhere because explaining them is really difficult, and I'm not sure I can do this justice. But I'm going to give it a good college try because there's a couple moments in here that you might learn something from that could apply to other things that you try. Especially because the imagery that I was trying to convey in this was very disparate. The pictures didn't go together in any way that made sense. And it took me days of praying through this to even feel like I wanted to sit down and start. But at one point after I had just prayed so many times and said, Lord, I want to journal this because what he was speaking to me was powerful. And he just said, start, just start. So I did. The imagery in Isaiah chapter four, there's a point that it talks about a glorious branch, the branch of the Lord being just glorious. And to me, glorious meant like filling the sky. It was glorious and huge and gold and shiny. And like that was one image. And then there was the pillar of cloud and then the fire, that whole juxtaposition day and night. And where does the branch go then? What happens to the branch in this? I mean, it was just so many things could have been journaled in two different Bibles. So I could do the branch in one and the cloud and the fire in another one. I wasn't really sure what to do, but I wanted to find a way to put them together because of all that the Lord was sharing with me. Because I have been in kind of a not great place. A lot of people might be at this point. We're watching things happen in the world, the earthquake in Haiti, the just craziness going on in Afghanistan, the Delta virus that's just killing people at a ridiculous rate, the, or the Delta variant, excuse me. And a friend of mine had just called a few days back and told me that her 24-year-old daughter died of COVID. And it's just been, it's just been a really hard time for me in a lot of different ways. Uh, here's one of the, I'll pause for the teachable moment. I was trying to paint the branch in the sky once I got that sky down and I didn't like how fat the branch came out because I used too much water in my brush. And with watercolor, you can just lift it back off. So I just wiped it off and ironed it again. And so it was nice and dry that I could start all over again using a brush that had less water in it. And I'll just dip it into the paint, but then wipe it off on a towel or something so that I don't have all that water flowing out and it's going to make an easier branch for me. So anyway, back to, I didn't even know where I was. I've lost my mind now, <laughs> but I was trying to figure out how to, how to picture all of this because the Lord was reminding me that day and night, he is my shelter. He is my, my protector. He is the cloud over my head that is keeping me sheltered in the storm, which is also part of that verse. I've been doing a study on shelter because I feel like I need that. I feel like we all need that. I feel like my friend needs that. She's just so distraught, rightfully so. Um, her daughter and her whole family had not been vaccinated and they have all decided at her wishes. She said she wanted them to go out and get vaccinated and they did or they are in the process of doing it. So I've just been praying for them, praying for so many things going on in the world and praying for this same shelter that I'm seeking to be there for them, for shelter for those who are suffering from the earthquake and from the upheaval going on in Afghanistan and so many other places in the world. There's more than just those. If you follow any of the news, there's just, there's stuff going on everywhere. And we've got, you know, kids trying to go back to school and people fighting about all that. Poor kids are in the middle of it. There's just a lot of people needing that shelter of the Lord. And that glorious branch is the covering. He's the one who can give us the shelter that we need. And I, I still have no idea if all of these connected themselves to each other, but 
it is what it is. I painted the branch with each one of the beautiful leaves coming off of it over top of that cloudy purple and yellow sky with a little break in it so that then you get down to the land around the fire so I could put darker color around the fire so it would stand out and be brighter because everything that is light and bright looks lighter and brighter when it's in the dark. If you've ever noticed that, a candle lights up the darkness, but a candle in the middle of the day doesn't really look like much. So I wanted more darkness down there by the fire itself and you know, softly leading up to the clouds. I didn't really have a full way of connecting all this, but the great thing about Bible journaling is that this is all about our relationship with the Lord. It's not about making perfect artwork or making something that somebody else is going to be able to look at and say, oh, that makes perfect sense. This is between each of us and God. And I try to explain that to people, and I, I just don't know how to get that across, really, that your art doesn't need to be interest-worthy. We've talked about that before. It doesn't need to be it doesn't mean need to be anything. It can be whatever the Lord is speaking to your heart that's going to cement into your mind what he was speaking to you about. And for me, this is all about being that shelter and that protection in times of trouble. When everything else in the world is seeming to go not so, God is the one who can take care of all that. He's the one who can provide that shelter and he doesn't even need to focus on one of us at a time. He does it for all of us in great measure. And that's, that's just a truth that never gets deep enough. Because every time I think about it, I think more deeply and more, I understand it at, at a deeper level. And then the next time I, I ponder it, the Lord takes me even deeper still. So it's a truth that we can't we can't ever get enough of. So I've added with white pen some of the details of the fire going upward and dots around it like the sparks and the embers as well as gold pen. I put some gold pen in the branches to make them more of that gloriousness as well as that the sparks around the fire. And the tip in will have all of the journaling on it. I do did add a little bit of text on the page itself, a little bit from the verse. Did stop here because I decided to put some highlights on some of the leaves with the white pen and then added more words into the page itself. But you can see the shiny gold in my crazy wild branch with all its doodles on it. <laughs> this just doesn't make any sense, but it makes sense inside my head and that's what matters. God's faithfulness is with me day and night. And that is the truth. That I want to hang on to in all times, good times, bad times, all times. All right. Have a wonderful week. I will see you again next week. Take care.